Today, I sent an urgent letter to Ahmad Hassan, Canada's immigration minister. He has been attacking me in Parliament for my reporting on the UN Global Compact for Migration. Take a look. It is disappointing to see the Conservatives and uh, Max, uh, the, the, mem the member opposites <laughs> engage in peddling uh, rebel media conspiracy uh, theories. While that was Ahmad Hussein and Justin Trudeau saying the same thing, word for word, actually. It is disappointing to see the Conservatives engage in peddling rebel media conspiracy theories. While we I normally would regard being attacked by Liberals as a badge of honour, but this time it's different. Because right as that was happening, the United Nations refused to grant me and my cameraman journalistic accreditation to go to the UN conference on this global migrant compact next week in Morocco. Here's what they said. Quote, your media accreditation request with reference number M38414322 has been declined for the following reason. Outlet activities not compatible with the status of accredited journalists, end quote. What? I've been a working journalist for more than 30 years, folks. I got my degree in journalism from Ryerson in 1984. My first job was with the St. Paul Journal in St. Paul, Alberta. Since then, I've worked for everyone from the Financial Post to McLean's Magazine and even being the editor of a Canadian Car Magazine. And for the past three years, I've worked for The Rebel. What are they talking about? I wrote back to the anonymous bureaucrat who said that the UN, quote, reserves the right to deny or withdraw accreditation of journalists from media organizations whose activities run counter to the principles of the Charter of the United Nations or who abuse the privileges so extended or put the accreditation to improper use or act in a way not consistent with the principles of the organization. The decisions are final, end quote. What is he talking about? I'm a reporter. And if I may say so, I've done real work on mass migration, actually, going into the field. Like last month, I embedded myself with the Mexican migrant caravan, interviewing migrants, pro-migration NGOs, other journalists, and locals in both Spanish and English. I follow the facts wherever they lead, and I'm not afraid to engage with people of opposing views and give them a fair hearing. You can see all of my work at www.caravanreports.com, and they have been collectively viewed by more than one million people thus far. So the attacks on me by Ahmad Hussein and the United Nations are baseless. And even if I did do something that was not consistent with the principles of the UN, it is part of a free press to be able to defy the political views of any public institution. But look at this. This is from paragraph 33C of the UN Global Compact for Migration. It says governments, including Canada, agree to, quote, sensitizing and educating media professionals on migration-related issues and terminology, investing in ethical reporting standards and advertising, and stopping allocation of public funding or material support to media outlets that systematically promote intolerance, xenophobia, racism, and other forms of discrimination towards migrants." End quote. Is that what's happening here? It sure looks like it. So I put that to Mr. Hussein in a letter today and I wrote four questions for him to answer. Is the UN decision to ban me, my cameraman, and anyone else at the Rebel based on paragraph 33C of the UN Global Compact for Migration? Have you or anyone else in the Canadian government indicated that the Rebel ought to be blacklisted from reporting at UN conferences? Do you believe that ban is reflective of Canadian values, including our charter values of freedom of the press? And if you value accurate reporting, as your accusation of conspiracy theory suggests, why wouldn't you want critical journalists to have access to all the facts and information at a conference about migration? So I put those questions to Mr. Hussein, and then I asked for his help. 
I know that's probably unrealistic, but I have to pretend that our government still respects free speech, even though they increasingly don't act like it. So I asked them to immediately direct the United Nations to accredit me and my cameraman, and should they fail to do so, to deem me and my cameraman as part of your official delegation for purposes of admission only. As in, if the UN won't take me as a journalist of 34 years experience, Mr. Hussein should officially make me part of the Canadian delegation just to get me in. And here's how I ended my letter. Many Canadians, including many mainstream journalists, have warned that your government's $595 million media bailout would damage the independence of political journalism. Your attack on my journalism and the UN's refusal to accredit me to this important conference only adds to the perception that you seek to control and stifle political criticism, something that paragraph 33C of the compact itself contemplates. I call on you to prove that censorship is merely a conspiracy theory by directing the UN to accredit me and my cameraman or by making us part of the Canadian delegation for admission purposes only. As we are scheduled to fly to Marrakesh imminently, please reply to this letter urgently at menzies at therebel.media. So far, nothing. I'll let you know if I hear back. By the way, we're still going to Marrakesh, folks, even if Mr. Hussein backs the UN decision to ban us from the actual conference building. We'll just do our reports from the city. If the Liberal government attacks us, and if the UN bans us, don't you think that's actually proof that we really absolutely need to be reporting about what they're doing? And that you just can't trust the mainstream media that actually receive Ahmad Hussein's approval and the UN's approval? Being a journalist who is let in pretty much proves that the UN is sure that you're going to produce propaganda, not news. Help us bring you the real news. Help us be the only truly independent news media at this conference, whether they let us in or not. I know we'll do a better job than the mainstream media taking Trudeau's bailout. Can you please do me a favor, folks? Could you go to rebelun.com right now? You can see my full letter to Ahmad Hussein. And if you'd be so kind, please help cover the airfare and accommodation for me and my cameraman. We've bought the lowest priced flight tickets available and we're staying in low cost hotel rooms and we'll be eating on the cheap. We have to. We're not taking any of Trudeau's media bailout money, so we need to raise about $5,000. So please go to rebelun.com, read my whole letter to Mr. Hussein, and help chip in to our crowdfunded travel fund. Thank you so much. Justin Trudeau, Ahmad Hassan, and the United Nations don't want us to talk about their global compact for migration. That's why it's so important that we do. Please help us go to the conference by chipping in at rebelun.com.